-hmm. Let's apply some heat, some work, some pressure. We have Sean right here and sh All right, so we're about to start combing Sean's hair out. And for me, I am a believer that there are two types of waivers. Clearly, Sean is not an elite waiver, but he is a natural waiver. And natural waivers can still rock it. Elite waivers are more so a, a group of people that are fully committed to hours and hours of brushing their hair in whatever type of way that they want. Sean is not that guy okay sean doesn't want to do that sean has too many things to do in his life so he leaves it as it is he'll once in a while brush it but he is not trying to do all that ladies and gentlemen the most important part that we're focused on right now is clearing down the canvas in the case of sean because he has a loose curl we started off with a three we worked our way all the way down to a two and now we're clearing out for a taper the type of taper that he wanted was a bit of a low taper mostly a shadowish look because he wants to keep and preserve the c cup cool i know that there is a certain point that's going to be very very light for this taper that pretty much means we're going to have a bald base the bald base is about a dime size a uh, base from there we just burst it out at first i was hoping that he would let me do a high taper i won't lie to you the reason i was hoping that he was okay with a high taper is because he is light on his corners but no problem it's cool we work with what we got Now that we've made it up to this point, boys and girls, PPP. I want you to drill this into your heads. PPP. Do you know what PPP means? Let me tell you what PPP means. Preparation promotes precision. I want you to understand that if you want to have as many sharp lines as possible, you want to be able to prepare yourself to that. You want to be able to put yourself in the right place to execute properly. And when I say this, I want you to understand I have many different ways of preparing the area to be lined up. This is just one of many. I do it with the intentions of not only having precise lines, but also making the client comfortable. I don't like to use too much of it. That's why I cover the client's face. There are people that don't cover the client's face and I'm not, you know, trying to point people out. That's not my, you know, that's not my approach right here. It's more so just letting you understand that when you use hairspray on a client, if you use a lot of it because you want to have the most sharpest lines, especially if it's to promote your business, your cuts and all, that's cool. Just understand that, you know, the client and the experience is as important as the final product. Always remember that whatever you do on one side of the lineup you want to do on the other you want to you want to draw out what your reference points are I like to look at the eyebrows I don't just rely on the eyebrows like in his case in Sean's case I'm looking at that top point the highest point of the eyebrow on the top and making sure that the end of the parallel line is parallel to that high point on the eyebrow and I'll do the same thing on the other side precise lineups don't matter if you don't have a way of telling how to draw out both sides to be the same. Like if imagine you have the sharpest lines, but they don't match. So although we believe on the PPP, <clears throat> you know, you need a little bit of uh, balance. Damn, we've made it. We made it to that to that point, guys. This is that point that, you know, you don't want to rush into. You want to work other things out before you make it to this point. 
because it takes a little extra time. You want to move with precaution, but with precision. Oh, another P. I want you to focus. I want you to stay as focused as Silas's client across from us. He is tuned into the conversation, and I need you to be tuned into this. <laughs> Now, I don't think I've mentioned my VIP service that I've been doing lately at the shop. Uh, it consists of me cleansing the beard and, you know, adding a little bit of steam in there and also just, you know, adding a, a hot towel. It's basically that next level service. I'm not trying to do too much in the shop. I, the, the, the most important part is still cutting hair. This is only my third option now. I, I don't even promote cutting kits anymore because sometimes it gets in the way of how I can make videos for you guys. And I just made it to a point where, where I can have a little bit more control, you know, and that came from years and years of just grinding it out, guys. It doesn't happen right away. So if you're a new barber, don't think that you're going to get it like that. Right now, this is grind mode, baby. We're going to be cutting everybody for a while. Until you do that, you won't be able to pick your clients and that, that what I'm doing right here is irrelevant at this point, okay? But if you can control your your slots, if you can control, you know, your demand, you know, you can, you can start customizing your days, uh, your slots and whatnot. You know, it just depends on what you want to do, guys. This is not the end all be all. You know, Sean right now is getting that C cup seriously like and i like how natural it looks even though we're gonna come back with that and, and, and even though we're gonna come back with that enhancement and apply a little pressure there too not a little a lot uh it's it's good to see that it's looking sharp with the natural fade that we gave them you know with this natural taper with the taper you still get a bit of a natural look you know without the enhancements and that's pretty dope Another area that needs a, a pressure applied is his eyebrows. As you can see, Sean has some caterpillars. And the only reason I'm calling them caterpillars is I myself had caterpillars and I know the feeling of having caterpillars. Sean is just the next level of that. So shout out to Sean and the caterpillars. We are lining it up. My trimmers are not zero gapped. And because they're not zero gapped, I can use any angle with them to line somebody up. It's a light lineup. I don't try to be too precise with it. I know that I'm gonna come back with the razor guys and that gives me the ultimate precision. Become comfortable using your razors. If you don't, you're just missing out on precision. Remember the whole PPP thing. <laughs> I came back with some fibers just to kind of kind of give it a little bit of a, a of a different texture. You know, sometimes when you just use enhancement or liquid enhancement, it might leave a bit of a shine. I'm not saying it's always the case. It depends on the person, the skin tone. And, you know, being that he was a light skinned brother like me, you know, I felt like it was shining a little bit. So a little bit of fibers doesn't hurt to create that barrier that sharper line and because we use some hairspray it also creates a bit of an ash line so a contrast look just makes it pop so much more i know sean is going to be satisfied with this product i know it. i don't and this is not to boast and brag you just know when you're doing you're 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 leading into a freaking great finish right that's what you want you want to feel this you want to feel good about what you're doing if you personally feel good trust me the odds of your client feeling better so much higher so much higher i promise you <laughs> 